In a gunfight, whoever puts shots on target first almost always wins. Hi everyone, this is John with today's active self-protection lesson out of Kent, Washington. Shows us an armed robbery here that goes really badly for the armed robbers. Shows us some important lessons about transitional spaces and how fast armed robberies happen within them. We're going to look again at the true meaning of not drawing on a drawn gun and the importance of marksmanship in real life defensive gun uses. Here we see it's hard to see, but you can see here this gal opens the door and this guy walks in as an armed robber with a gun pointed in anyone. Well, on the right side of the screen, we have a self-defender who draws his own gun, puts accurate shots on the guy, and the guy is going to run off and out of the store and the danger ends that fast. We have a different clip of it here from a different camera that you can see a little bit better. The guy comes in, points his gun at everybody in the store, and just as he turns towards the, the defender there, the defender is the first one to put a shot on target, and thankfully, the first one to put shot on target often wins, and so then he runs off and out, and the threat is over. Now, there are eight lessons on our website from this one. Go check those, but I want to talk about some of the most significant ones here. First of all is, you know, this guy has coming in. He always gets the right of ambush, and it's not a right, but, you know, we see them ambush all the time, and I want you to notice in particular that our bad guy is pointing his gun into the store. He's not pointing to the left, to his left, our right, uh, towards the defender, but he's in the store and his attention is in the store. So this is not drawing from the dropper, what we call drawing on a drawn gun. This is actually a counter ambush instead because the guy is not pointing a gun at him and not paying attention to him. You see there, after the good guy starts to move, we're going to see our armed robber turns towards him and that's exactly what happens here. And We're going to see exactly how close it is in just a moment. Now, as we see the door open again, again, it's very hard here from this angle because of the footage, but you can see the silhouette on the right-hand side of our defender, and you can see the armed robber's arm, and you can see that that arm is not pointed at him. The armed robber has not seen him. He is going into the store, and our defender is now the one who can launch a counter ambush. So he's not drawing from the drop, not drawing on a drawn gun here. He is instead counter ambushing because the attention's not on him. So we see our defenders start to get a gun out and in the fight, and I want you to see how close this is. He's drawing it out here, and now you got to get that first shot on target. When we talk about the most important shot, it's getting that gun out, driven out in front of you, front sight on target, and trigger press to get the first shot on target. Because you see the first one happen, his shot came, and now the bad guy's shot came, and it was only about nine hundredths of a second difference between them. That's how close it was drawing on this guy. So you got to be able to get your gun out and in the fight because you have the rest of your life to get your gun in the fight. But what we always say is when it's time to fight, boy, you got to go like you're the third monkey trying to get on Noah's Ark and brother, it's starting to rain. And this defender definitely did that. He did a great job here of protecting everyone around him and he covered his asp.